Okay, so where we left off, we had just made our basic constructor for our binary search tree. Now we're going to make our secondary constructor, which is basically going to take an existing binary search tree and make a copy of it. Um, this is really useful because sometimes you want to change a binary search tree and then keep a copy of the original one later. So uh, you do that by going ahead and making a new tree that's identical to the one that you have. So this one's going to be a little different. We're going to have a BS tree, of course. Um, except this time we just have one parameter, and that's constant BS tree and item key. Okay. And then it's going to be a pointer to a BS tree, but we're not going to change that pointer. So it's a constant reference to a pointer. Pretty tricky there. And we'll just call that, you know, copy. So now we implement it below. We say, hey, this is a template function. Um, again, our class item, class key, oops, key. And we go ahead and say BS tree item key. And this is just a matter of copy paste of this. Okay. So then this one is actually pretty straightforward. Um, what we're going to do is say if what's passed in is just a null pointer, then we're going to make a null tree. So if copy is equal to null, then this is equal to null, which is basically setting the current object, this current object that's calling this, our new tree, to null. Makes sense. Otherwise, what we're going to do is set our entry to copy.entry. Um, we're going to set our key equal to uh, copy dot key. We're going to set our left node equal to copy dot left and our right node to copy dot right. And we've copied our tree. Pretty straightforward. Uh, easy definition there. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and implement some really quick and easy ones just to go ahead and complete our tree. Um, so, besides our constructors, what we're going to have is our something to return our key. So we're going to return a reference to our key, so get key. This is in the case that we need to change the key. And all this, we can just define this inline. All this is going to do is return key. Um, we'll do the same with our entry. We're going to say get, we'll call it get data. And again, this is simple inline return entry. Um, and that should be that. Um, next, we're going to return our left and our right node. So, this one again is going to be a BST node, or not BST node, what am I thinking? BST tree. So used to calling it a node, especially in this last lab I've been doing. Everything's called node. So there we go. And look at that. Must be getting tired. So BSG item key, and we're going to go ahead and make our pointer, make it a reference, get left, and that's just going to be a simple in line return left. And because I'm lazy, we're just going to do right is the exact same thing, obviously, so we're just going to copy paste. Let's make a copy of that. This will be called, you know, get right, and it's going to return right. Makes sense.
So those are our basic functionalities. Uh, now we need to be able to set rather than get. So our set functions will be void. You can make them bools if you want to return, you know, whether it was successful or not. But let's start with, uh, well, we'll do set key since we started with key. So, and we're just going to pass in a key. Okay, some key K. And simple as in line, def setting key equal to K. Just like that. Uh, same thing for um, our data, set data. We're just going to say const item reference. And that'll be, you know, we'll call that data. Why not? And then we can go ahead and say entry is equal to data. And then set left, set right, right? So we're going to go ahead and say void, set left. We started with left, right? Yep. So we're going to say set left. And then what are we going to pass in? We're going to pass in a BS tree. And call that L. And then we're going to set left equal to L. Right? And finally, we're going to do our set right. Just like that. That easy. Uh, so there are our basic uh, functions. Now, there's two sets. These are what I'm going to call, for lack of a better word, our dynamic, or rather, better word would be mutable. These are our mutable member functions, meaning we're changing stuff. We can change key and item. Now we're going to have our immutable, or our constant member function. This is for the case that we don't, we just want the data, but we don't, we don't need to change it. So let's do const key reference get key. So the only difference here is we're saying, hey, you can't change this value. So, and uh, here's, the, here's the trick. We're also going to say nothing is being changed within this by adding another const here. If you don't understand how const works, um, there's a subtle difference between declaring const in the front this means the data I return is going to be immutable. You can't change it. This means inside of my function, I'm not going to change any data. So subtle difference there. And in both cases, we, we, this is true for this function. Um, so we're going to say get data again, except this time, be const, and return empty. Or empty. What am I thinking? Entry. Okay. Uh, finally, we're going to do. Um, we still want to be able to to change where our left or right node points to. Um, so we're not going to do a reference. We're just going to have a const pointer. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, we'll look more into these consts declarations. Let's say get left. And then the same for right. Cons BS tree item key pointer get right. Okay, and just like that, we have our basic functionalities. I'm going to add one more just sort of convenience functionality, and that is uh, we're going to return, I'm going to add a little, we'll call these convenience functions. So our first one here is going to be a boolean. 
That's going to say whether or not this is a leaf. And we can define that in one line as well. And that's just as simple as the very definition of a leaf, meaning both children do not exist. They're null. That easy. So just like that, we have the basic shell, the basic functionality of our binary search tree defined. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a part three where we put in a little bit of a toolkit, so to speak, uh, that we'll implement into this tree that will allow us to do some pretty cool things. Uh, this will be more uh, recursion uh, heavy, so uh, buckle your seatbelts. But uh, this is the basic layout of uh, binary search tree with templates.